I've managed to get it to load the USB pen drive um, that was formatted using Bootcamp. Now the next problem I'm facing is with the actual installation itself. Every time I click on install now, it, the previous screen asks you the language and then you get you get presented with this screen. So once this boot loads up I face another issue which is that it doesn't find any drivers. Um, so hopefully in this video I should be able to help you. So you, yeah, you get that message where it's saying um, uh, CD DVD ROM is required and the problem is that you can't find any drivers. So what you need to do for this is you need to change the ISO file once more. Right, so what I found was that not all ISO images work with Bootcamp uh, and they don't actually load and give that um, an error with the no drivers found. Um, the only one that actually works is the full the uh, full full download, uh, which is a 30-day trial that you can get from Microsoft or few other places, and that's the only one that seemed to work with me. Even though the two versions that I got, one was Windows 7 Ultimate and Windows 7 Professional, I got both of them from my MSDN license. Uh, neither of them, neither of them worked. So I'll just show you quickly how I got the trial, the one that worked for me. So the first link, if you type in Windows 7 ISO trial download, the first link, I downloaded this and for my, um, and as you can see this is this includes service pack 1, the version I downloaded was the English version and again because I've got the Haswell MacBook Pro Retina, um, I downloaded the 64 bit um, version. So that's the ISO. So next thing you need to do is go to Launchpad and your boot camp. And you need to create a Windows 7 or later version installed. So I've already got my USB pen drive attached. Just select the ISO, the one that you've just downloaded from the website. And click continue and it will format the the pen drive 